Hello, and welcome back to the Book Brew. And today we're going to be bringing you a Halloween a thon video. Yay! It's the first day of Halloween a thon. Halloween along? Halloween along? Halloween a thon! Which is. Which is brought to everyone by the uh, Spinebreakers, yes. Megan and Sue. And we'll link their channel down below and all the information about Halloween a thon. Yep. So we did the challenge of read a book and then watch its adaptation. Adaptation, yes. And I think we doubled up on challenges because there is blood on the cover. Oh yes, which was another Good challenge. Work. Good work on us. Oh yes. Yeah. But we read and watched the first volume of Lock and Key, mm -hmm. in the first episode of Lock and Key. Yes, so this is by Joe Hill and illustrated by Gabriel Rodriguez. This story revolves around a family that moves to a new house due to some tragedy. They lost a parent and a husband, and they're going for a fresh start in a new house all the way across the country, and it's a very old Victorian mansion sort of thing. There's keys that do supernatural stuff. Yes, it's called the Key House. And it's, so in the comic, mm -hmm. it's the youngest child that finds the first key and starts playing around with it. And no one believes them that the key is working. And there's something in the well that talks to him and yes. gives him information or what he thinks is information on the keys. The comic was very dark. Yes, it, it was. It struck a very dark tone. There were some very triggering events that happened in the beginning of it. Very, very suspenseful and bloody and mm -hmm. violent and scary. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the TV show, the Netflix series, not so much. It's rated TV 14. Yes. Uh, and the comic book would be for a mature audience. I would say so, yeah. Yeah. So that's probably my biggest gripe with the show is that it just strikes a completely different tone that doesn't that doesn't match the source material. And so feels it feels like it could almost be something completely different, you know. It's definitely it definitely feels like it's trying to pull in a different audience mm -hmm. than the comic books. Yeah. Definitely, because um, Joe Hill generally writes horror for adults. But the show definitely feels kind of, not as like satirical as the Goosebumps stuff. Yeah. But it's not too far out of that mm -hmm. range. Yeah, absolutely. It. I compared it to a show from my childhood that was on Nickelodeon called Are You Afraid of the Dark? Which was essentially kids around a campfire telling scary stories, but they were, you know, they were kid scary stories. So, you know, they kind of, kind of got you riled as a kid, but you rewatch them as an adult and you're just kind of, you know, roll your eyes at it, but we should watch some. And, and no, 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 no. <laughs> I am scared of everything. So no, mm. we didn't even mention the fact that we're in costume. This is, because of the readathon, mm -hmm. we're not yes. just. I mean, Aaron looks fabulous. I do look quite fabulous. fabulous. Yeah. We stole. Um, you look very good too. Thank you. Um, we stole these uh, fun accessories from our children's mm -hmm. Halloween costume. I would rate the comic book. I don't star rate things anymore. I know. No, we I don't do star rate either. things, so I would. Well, because I very it's all much subjective. It. It, it's yeah. all. It, everyone's rating system is different and and depending on what you're rating are you rating the story or the atmosphere mm -hmm. the characters what are you doing um i will say that the comic book was a lot scarier and darker mm -hmm. and more like it had more complicated feelings and and themes than the show and we only watched the first episode of the yeah. show but it does seem like it might be um deviating slightly already yeah i i think it threw in some things that 
we haven't seen in the comics yet mm-hmm. and it introduced them probably earlier. I would say I enjoyed the comic book far more than than the show. I don't know if I'd continue watching the show, honestly. Well, I'm not going to continue with the comic book series either. It's too scary. It is too scary. <laughs> I got it from the library, I want to say a year ago, and then I found Piper with it. She was uh-huh. reading it, and I was like, I took it away from her. I don't take <laughs> away reading material from our children very often, but that one was just, I knew there was going to be nightmares. Mm-hmm. That one was creepy. Yeah. I might continue with the comic books. It, it's pretty interesting. I, have to say. I don't remember if this scene was in the comic book, but I liked the scene in the show where um, the teenage daughter was trying to bond with friends and they were talking about horror movies and talking oh. about this idea of the final girls and she got up and left and ended up having a heated conversation because she is a final girl and they were talking about it theoretically and being very critical of the idea of the final final girl. Mm-hmm. And she was just like, you know, some final girls are cowards. Like, so, like you don't know. Like, I know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that was a, that was a good, scene. good scene in the, in the show. It was not in mm. the comic book. I thought that was well yeah. done. Any other thoughts? I don't like how the pacing of the show. I feel like, hmm, I feel like it, it's rushed in the wrong spots and then it, mm-hmm. like, things are skipped. Yeah. Which, um, the, the comic was much better about building tension and there were, I think there were more flashbacks in the comic. Yeah, absolutely. It it got a more it did more front loading on the event, mm-hmm. um, the the original event that that caused the move and everything. And it seems like the show is probably going to stretch that out. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Those All are right. my thoughts. All right, so that is prompt number one and two that we've done. Well, I don't know how. I don't. I'm not sure where they land in the list, but those are two prompts that we finished for Halloweenathon already. Woo-hoo. If you're participating in Halloweenathon, go ahead and let us know where you're at with everything. We know it's the first day and all that, but go ahead and let us know. And subscribe and like the video and all of that noise. See you in the next one, everyone. Bye, guys.